What four things are needed to raise money? You know, I love fundraising. There's something inspiring about seeing someone take control of money and give it value by directing it into ministry. I hope I can get you to love it too. Now we've got our heads and our hearts into this, let's talk about what you need to do to do fundraising. There are basically four things a case statement, a narrative budget, stories of impact, and a prospect. Let's start with the case statement. In a case statement, you state clearly and briefly who you are, that is you personally and your community, what your mission is, the neighborhood or group on which you are focused, what problem you see, the solution you propose, what your solution costs, and how you want your prospect to get involved. Much of this should look familiar because it is the same pattern as in the Starting New Worship Communities Guideline. If you haven't seen this guide, I recommend you download it from the newchurchnewway.org website to help your team work through these steps. Next is a budget. You know about budgets with line items such as salary, rent, utilities, office expense. This is an operational budget. You start with one of those. But for mission interpretation purposes, you need a narrative budget in which the operational expenses are divided and allocated to ministry categories. Categories such as community service, community gatherings, worship, community development, or other active ministry activities. This budget ties dollars to ministry, helping people see the direct connection between their gifts and ministry impact. It also minimizes the perception that fundraising is primarily for the purpose of paying the leader a salary. Stories. Donors care most about impact and so the best stories are about a personal transformation that one person or family has undergone as a result of your ministry. You know, Joseph Stalin famously remarked, the death of one man is a tragedy, but the death of a million men is a statistic. Tragedies move people, statistics don't. Not that you don't want statistics on your side, you just don't want to depend on them to receive a gift. Fundraising is about emotion, which is what stories about life transformation provide. But don't make the story about the, your great success. Make it a story where there is space for the prospect to make a difference. The goal is for the prospect to be able to imagine taking personal action to participate in bringing transformation about. Let's talk about prospects. These are the people who you will ask to give. Prospective donors are you and your leaders, a thousand and one, your presbytery and surrounding churches, participants in your community, and people in your network of friends and associates. In each case, you will be seeking a gift from a specific individual Contacting and arranging a time to personally introduce your project to them requires its own strategy. We can help you with that, but it's another session. In the next section, we'll see how putting these four things together, the case statement, the budget, the story, and the prospect works out.